Well, hi there, beach friends. We are going on a little walk. I wanted to take advantage of a negative low tide. So we headed on down to Fort Myers Beach because it was a good opportunity to find critters as well as find fantastic shells. And we're also gonna watch the sunset. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of fun. Luckily, it wasn't too much of putting things back in the water. We a couple we did, but we're gonna find some shells, some sand dollars, a couple of critters, watch the sunset. So all in all, we're gonna have ourselves a fantastic time. So let's go to the beach. over at kind of my home base, Fort Myers Beach. And I came here because of low tide and I was afraid there might be a whole bunch of rescues. And it looks like the first thing we found is indeed a rescue. This is a live Florida fighting conch. I did bring my scooper. I came prepared. I wanted to be in the water. And like I said, take advantage. It wasn't just low tide, it was negative low tide. So I wanted to get down there and spend as much time as I could shelling Get this little guy back in the water. Now, negative low tide was at 720 and sunset was at about 810. So I did have a limited amount of time. So I got there with, give myself quite a few hours to kind of scope out everything and look for goodies. I'm in the water and I was trying to find something and there was nothing there. So <laughs> I went to the beach and I'm also finding not a whole lot of anything. I mean, there is this spiny jewel box. So there is always something, but I don't wanna bore you guys to tears, but don't worry, persistence paid off and we will find a ton of goodies, but I was a little scared. Here we have a calico scallop. I was a little scared. I wasn't gonna find anything and it was just gonna, I, I really didn't know what I was gonna do. Here's a prickly cockle, a Florida prickly cockle. There's also a different variety called a yellow prickly cockle. Maybe we'll find one, maybe we won't. Here is a brown pelican, because I do, I, I love the pelicans. So at this point, I've walked pretty far, I haven't really found much of anything. And like I said, I always start to get nervous because I kind of need to <laughs> show you guys something, right? I mean, yeah, I'm entertaining and all, but you know, I think we're all kind of here about the beach and the shells and the critters and that kind of thing. So I just kept at it I kept walking. And this, oh, I thought this was exciting, but it's actually just a discolored discdocenia. So <laughs> I was hoping, oh, maybe a new shell, but no. Just a discolored disc docenia. All right, now this is kind of exciting. We're finding a sand dollar. Now I know it's pretty beat up, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. Um, yeah, that's just what I decided to do. I'm gonna keep that guy anyway. Oh, now Florida fighting conchs are one of my, I do have a weakness for them. And this guy I thought was really cool cause it's got that light edge of his aperture the opening there so I thought that that light stripe down the side I thought that was really cool and here we have a sunray venus I do like these guys too this is very very faded if I had to guess I'd say the shell is probably a bit beat up but it's a little slow right now so I was kind of interested in pretty much anything that I could find oh guys that's that's a horse conch a piece of a horse conch that's I am chasing that horse conch but all right, not that time, that's okay. What else do we find? All right, another Florida fighting conch. Hard to say how he's gonna clean up, at least it's empty. It's a good sign we got all that sand and stuff jammed in there. Ooh, that's another very pretty Florida fighting conch. Nice orange, again, it's got some nice striping there on the side. Okay, here we have just a calico scallop, an orange scallop. I do like the orange ones. Okay, another Florida fighting conch. And he's kind of, he's, something's weird with the color. Something's a little off, so I like that. It's a little bit different, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to that. Ooh, 
All right, here is another sand dollar that is in much better shape than that first one we picked up. So we're definitely gonna hold on to that as well. Put that in my little case. All right, here we have a lettered olive. At least there's some, <laughs> I'm starting to get happy. At least there's something I can show you guys. Here's another Sunray Venus. That is in better shape than that first one I picked up. And we're in this, see all that texture on the sand there? It's kind of like this clay. It's like super mucky. Um, the angel wings tend to kind of like that. And so I was expecting in this area to at least find one or two because for whatever reason, they like this kind of clay. Oh, what do we got here? It's a false angel wing, a hinged false angel wing. But again, they're, they're here. Hopefully we'll find a few an auger and because of the low tide you got to be super careful make sure there's no critters in these shells and a bunch of critters thwarted me many times oh it's a juvenile florida fighting conch an empty one yay and what else we got okay Ooh. Fantastic. Okay, that's a shark eye. Look at the swirl on that. Oh, that's awesome. Really happy with that guy. Woohoo. Oh, another lettered olive. Nice and pointy. Almost thought that might be golden, but no, I think that's just kind of a light lettered olive. Looks like I spied another auger. Okay, cool. And then I spied this. And I, I don't know what that is. I don't know. Maybe a piece, I, you know, maybe a piece of a mossy arc. Maybe, I don't know. It was just a mystery. Here we have another shark eye. And it looks like somebody, yeah, somebody gave that guy a little drill, unfortunately. And it happens. It happens. It looks like I found a lightning whelk. It's a fun little find. Okay, good. Yay. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm finding shells. Okay, here we have a tulip. Uh, a kind of chewed up tulip. I think that might be a true tulip. And here we have a pear whelk. Yes, a pear whelk. Got a little bit of color on there. That's a nice, that's a nice find. Ooh, guys, all right, help me. What do you think? Is that an albino Florida fighting conch? I, I think it is. I, I know there's like a little bit of color there, but on the reverse side, like there's just no color. So I'm thinking maybe some of that tan was absorbed from the sand or something, but either way, I was pretty stoked. I It's the closest I've come to finding that elusive albino Florida fighting conch. So... Maybe the jury's still out, but I was still really happy with that. Looks like we got it. All right, another shark eye. Cool. Ooh, is that a Paul Newman? Kind of got that blue, the blue eye. Hard to tell. What else we got? Oh, ho, ho. hi, crown conch. Oh, that's awesome. And another auger. Very cool. Looks like I'm kind of checking him out more. Making sure I'm going to keep that. I'm kind of, I'm a little picky. I'm not a vacation sheller. If you're here on vacation, take everything home. But I am lucky enough to come here kind of on the regular. So I don't take everything. I like to check out lots of stuff, but I don't always take everything home. I have a lettered olive that definitely will be coming home with me. I like that guy. Ooh. All right. Whoa. All right. <laughs> it's an angel wing with all sorts of like stuff growing on it. So that's kind of neat. I am going to try to rehabilitate that. Maybe a little bleach can help that shell out. I'm going to try. Looks like we found another shark eye, but this is not empty. I cannot keep that. Looks like there's a long wristed hermit crab in there. All tucked in there. So we'll just kind of say hi. Hey, dude. Take a peek at the shell and put it back. Yep, that's beautiful. That means the tide is going out. Love it. Oh, another lightning whelk. 
that's a decent find. Nice size. All right, so now I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm feeling better. We're going to make a real good video. We're going to find some fun stuff like that lightning whelk. Ooh, all right, what's in this little pile? All right, got ourselves an alphabet cone, albeit very beat up. A very beat up alphabet cone. What else we got? All right. Sometimes I found that those, if you kind of pull up those Florida finding conchs, it kind of, there's another Florida finding conch, but when they're buried, as you pull them up, there's just kind of like other stuff in the sand. So I was checking them out. There's a little lightning whelk. I was kind of, you know, uprooting and kind of seeing what I could find in there. You got to be careful. You, when you're digging around with your hands, you can get cut. You got to be careful. Shells can be real sharp. So just take it easy if you're doing that or bring an implement to actually do some digging. It's kind of a beat up olive. I decided to just leave that for someone else. Here we have another shark eye. What kind of condition we got? Sandy. Okay. We definitely. Oh dear. Mm, it's kind of pitted. I think that that's probably something I'm going to leave for someone else. Someone else's vacation. All right. So angel wings can be delicate. So I'm not... I'm kind of digging around it to uproot it instead of kind of relying on the shell to kind of come out on its own. So that guy is big and it had a little bit of oomph to it. So I'm going to keep it. I am going to bleach that because if you kind of hold it to the side, you don't really see that broken part. So, so here we are. I found this other little sandbar that has been revealed because of the negative low tide. So I am just super psyched, but I know my time is limited because the sun will go down at some point. So that's kind of a bummer. So, t you know, time's not necessarily on my side per se, but we still got, still have some time to do some checking out. Here's an urchin, a short spined sea urchin, all decorated with shells. I love that. And another sand dollar. Okay. Oh, you know what? We already have a really beat up one. I'm going to leave that for somebody else. See if maybe we can find something that's in a little bit better shape. Okay. Hmm. Not really. All right, let's leave that one too. Let's keep looking. There we go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Most of the work's already been done for us. It's beautiful. It's big. It's almost white. I'm definitely taking that home. And this one. And I'll show you in a different video. I'm going to make a whole other little video on what I do with my sand dollars. So that'll be coming to you at some point in the future. There's another shark eye. That one's a little beat up. Yeah, that one's really beat up. Yeah, we'll just leave them. What else we got? Okay. Ooh, yeah, that dark shiny color that caught my eye. But eh, we're going to leave that one for somebody else as well. Okay, we got our, oh, looks like we got ourselves a tinted cantharus, the little tiny hermit crab in there. So we got to leave that. Another angel wing. And let's see, oh, 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 oh dear. It's got a, whole, it's got a whole like little seaweed farm growing on it. So we're just gonna, we're gonna leave that there. Maybe someone else would like to take a shot at that. And here is a live sand dollar hello friend and all his little spines on the bottom that helps them move and dig into the water move around and also brings the food to its mouth which is in the very center on the underside so that is a live sand dollar and it is illegal to take that home those must stay at the beach but think about it. If you're finding live ones, there's probably one that's safe to take somewhere. So just keep looking. I was happy to find a banded tulip, but uh, once I got a closer look, I don't know. I think that that's probably a shell I'm just going to leave here. Yeah, it's just pitted and it's got some green slime on it. We're, we're just going to keep looking, see if we can find something in a little bit better shape. There's a scallop. And again, I want to dig, but I want to be careful because I don't want to hurt myself. What do we got? A gaudy nautica, a colorful moon snail, but it's the pits. It's the broken and it's, it's the pits that kind of get me. The broken part I can maybe live with, but 
So I thought that this was a live angel wing and I thought to myself, okay, now I get it. I get why the edges of the angel wings kind of have that stuff on it. We keep finding it on the ends. So I don't know what quite is going on here. And all of a sudden, look, this little calico box crab. So he's kind of hiding in there. He's kind of acting like a hermit crab. He's, we're gonna actually see another one in a minute, but he's just kind of, he or she, it's just kind of hanging out in the angel wing. Okay, leave him alone. And another shark eye. It's I, I have not found this many shark eyes in so long. Super happy. Not all of them are keepers, but that's all right. Pick them up, check them out, and then here's when I go. Do I keep it? Do I not? Bleach? Is it gone? You're going to leave it. Yeah. I don't take these decisions lightly. I take my time. Really think about it. So here is an apple murex and very beat up. <laughs> and again, do I keep it? Do I leave it? I think I decided to keep it because I can live with broken. It's the pitted. The pits are what kind of pushes me over the edge. And look, all right, here is a little tiny horse conch. Beautiful orange horse conch. Don't worry, I was extra careful about making sure no critters made their home, their way back with me. I did not feel like taking a return trip back to the beach. Like this shell has a critter in there. You really kind of got to look in there. So that banded tulip is going to have to stay. So that's what I'm talking about as far as an awesome view. The tide is going out, thereby exposing that much more shells in the muck. Like this beautiful orange Florida fighting conch. It's a lovely shell. So I know I had mentioned time is kind of limited. By judging where the sun is, I probably got a little over an hour before I'm going to have to really seriously think about heading back to the car. But in the meantime, let's find shells. And looks like I got a letter. Well, <laughs> I picked up and put down a lettered olive. I'm checking these out. That's what I'm doing with my hands. I'm kind of like uh, pushing my thumb against it just to kind of see if it was nice and shiny. And that is a very beat up tulip. I am not going to keep that. But like I said, as you pull up things, you kind of find things underneath it. This Florida cone. Looks like I found that. Not albino. I think that's just kind of washed out. And ooh, I love seeing all the stuff on the beach. What do we get? Another shark eye. All right, fantastic. Mm, I'm not going to keep that. Yeah, it's the pits. Oh, and another gaudy nautica. All right, that looks good to me. It's got great color. It doesn't have pits. I know it's broken, but I'm going to bring that guy home. So what? else it was so fun just kind of finding like a little pile and picking through it to see what all was there looks like another shark eye but yeah it's not a keeper and it's kind of cool how some of the shell you know they're green and they got slime on it but other ones are great so it's kind of like a little bit of a lottery. You just never know what you're going to get. Ooh, a nutmeg. Awesome. And a crown conch. Awesome. So that's what I'm talking about. Yay. And then that'll be right next to some weird green shell. So don't give up, guys. Just keep looking, right? Super happy with that. Okay, that's a beat up olive. Just kind of poking around to see if there's any any other goodies in there. Ooh, ah, a banded tulip. Dang it. It's got a hole in it, so I'm probably going to leave that for somebody else to enjoy. Oh, and a little lace murex with a hermit crab. Oh, well. Womp womp. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. A banded tulip that is packed full of sand, which is terrific because that means there's no critter in there. And shark eye. Can't quite tell if that's going to be a keeper or not. It looks, looks pretty good. Let's bring it home and then I can always decide later. Another shark eye, although it's looking a little beat up, like the finish is not going to be 
Yeah, I'm still deciding. I told you it takes me a minute. So I think all in all, after all that, I decided to leave it there. Hopefully somebody else can uh, enjoy that. Somebody who's vacation shelling, maybe. And oh, I know it's broken, but darn, it's pretty. That is a true tulip. A broken true tulip. So pretty. Or is that a banded tulip? Well, either way, it was a tulip. And I don't think I brought it. Here's another tulip. That to me looks like a banded tulip. The little long wristed hermit crab. Oh, and this nutmeg drove me a little crazy because the color was fantastic. Really dark, rich colors, but it had a hole and it was missing its little pointy top. But I still kept it just because it was such, it was great color and I feel like I can still use that in some other kind of application if I'm only just showing the one side. Oh dear, yeah, that is not coming home with me for sure. Oh, a little lightning whelk. You never can tell too. Typically, I just pick up a piece, but with the shelling that I'm doing tonight, like the sand is soft enough and the whole shell comes out. So that's kind of, kind of cool. Got ourselves another angel wing. And, oh, that would have been huge. That is just a piece of a shark eye. So, ended up with my angel wing. And another crown conch, but yeah, it's that's 25% of a crown conch. All right, let's just check this out. All right, it's Florida fighting conch. Way slimy and bumpy. We're just gonna leave that. Ooh, shark eye. Oh dear. Hmm. We're probably gonna leave that as well. So just yeah, I don't know. Just keep checking stuff out. You never know. Once in a while, there's gonna be a keeper. That one was downright fuzzy, so I did not need to add a fuzzy lightning whelk to my collection. I left that there. And another green banded tulip. That's pretty beat up. So I am going to think long and hard and then probably, yeah, leave that for somebody else. What do we got? Okay. That's another lightning whelk, all right. I'm kind of looking, all right, the color's unusual. All these other things are kind of like rolling through my head as I'm looking at it. And ultimately, I think I left that because it just had too much going on. And I'm, that looked like a perfect Lee's Murex and I pick it up and it's a pretty, I don't know, kind of slimy apple Murex. I see the resemblance though. There's definitely resemblance between the lace and the apple, but I decided to leave that one. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, what am I thinking? I'm thinking it's a little green. This is a banded tulip. And I'm going to keep that. I betcha. I betcha I kept that. And that is an apple murex with a barnacle inside, green stuff. It's okay. And another. So even though, especially the green stuff, I'll just drop that in some bleach. No problem. Oh, another little horse conch with another little critter in it. I don't know if you can see little antenna or little feet, little legs, but there's a little critter in there, so that is not coming home with me. Another crown conch, shut up, awesome. Oh, terrific, okay. Really happy with that. Oh, that's fantastic. So another fantastic crown conch. I can't believe we found so many today. That is a little unusual. Ooh, now this is, I know it's only a juvenile Florida fighting conch, but they have some of the most spectacular color. I see sand jammed in there, totally safe to bring home, no critters. Oh, that's beautiful, very happy with that. And another Florida fighting conch, it looks like there's lots of periostracum on it, and I'm probably gonna leave it. I think I have enough of those furry Lightning whelks, whoop, here we have a orange lightning whelk. He's a little bit chewed up. I like the color though. I love those like lemony orange colors as well as the dark ones. Figure just check this guy out. A little bit of the purple on the inside. I don't think it's that rare. That's de I'm definitely going with that. So they, so they say that if you find a Florida fighting conch with um, purple on the inside. It's very, very rare, but I tend to kind of find it, I wouldn't say every single time I'm out, but really often. So I 
For me, I have not found that to be the case. There's another shark eye, a beat up shark eye, but a shark eye nonetheless. And what do we, okay, another, you never know, all right. Another Florida fighting conch, fantastic. What else we got? All right, another one, all right. Check it out just in case there's something uber special about it and I have to take it home. And what, what, what? Oh, that's awesome. All right, that to me does look like a blue center. So that would be a Paul Newman shark eye. Very cool. Just kind of sitting there amongst all those Florida fighting conks. Doesn't even have a drill mark. Oh, that's fantastic. Awesome. And another Apple Murex, that's a pretty good size. You know, all the uh, imperfections that guy has, I'm thinking I can definitely clean that up. So I'm definitely bringing that home. I'm still looking, still got some time. Got ourselves a nutmeg. And another tulip. Oh, look it, you see it? That's a little calico box crab. Just like the one we saw inside the angel wing not too long ago. So he's, we figured we'll just check him out for a second. And we like, clock is ticking. That sun is dipping down. We gotta <laughs> go, go, go. Find as much as we can. Another, that's great. Another banded tulip. Woohoo. And an olive. Looks like it passed the test. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, yeah, it's a Florida fighting conch. It has seen better days. Okay, another Florida fighting conch. I don't know, there's too much here. Let's, yeah. Oh, all right, another Florida fighting conch. It's nice to at least get those out of the way because sometimes there's other cool stuff buried underneath it. Ooh, he's kind of pretty with that stripe. The pattern stripe, I like that. And another shark eye. Fantastic day for shark eyes. Holy moly. That is terrific. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome shark eye. Love it. Okay, another broken tulip. I mean, we're finding them, so... I still like I still like that they're at least they're there. That's a nutmeg, even if they're broken. So to me, it means there's at least a possibility that we'll find something that's not broken somewhere. Ooh, all right, this little, this little guy looks like it had a re repair itself at some point. You kind of see that its shell is a little broken there. That is a little shark eye with a little imperfection. Still pretty, handsome little girl. And another letter to Olive. Awesome. And a Florida cone. All right, cool. Oh dear, I know it's a little beat up, but for the mo cones are relatively rare, or at least in my experience. So I keep if it's not completely beat up, I keep almost all the ones I find. And that banded tulip looks like a little bleach might work just fine to clean that up. Ooh. Now that is a weird floor. See what I mean? There's a little purple on the inside. That is a kind of discolored Florida fighting conch. So I'm probably going to keep that, even though it looked, it looked pretty heavy. Another broken tulip. Another crown conch. Okay. Now this guy, I know there's a hole in it, but if you look at it from the other side, it's fine. So I'm probably going to keep that. Not so much that olive. Mm, yeah, probably not. Lightning walk? Nope, just a piece. And beat up Florida fighting conch. So we'll just stick with this, but we'll just look at it that way. Now this guy, my husband tosses it to me. I can't find it. And he's like, ah, don't worry about it. And I'm like, really? A crown conch? I'm going to find it. That's what I found. He told me not to worry about it. Clearly, he should not be in charge of the shells. So the sun is going down. 
and it's really, really pretty. It's you, if you've been down here, you know, it's kind of like a thing. When the sun sets, everyone goes down to the beach and watches the show. So people bring their chairs, maybe they'll bring a cocktail and they watch the sunset, which is always really, really fun and cool. You don't always get to see it. Sometimes the clouds kind of interfere with you actually watching it, but it's always beautiful. Sometimes it's um, cloudy, you know, you can't really control the weather, but it's always, all right, maybe not always, but most of the time, it's just lovely. So here's the sun and it's, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna watch the sun set. Give you guys a little bit, I know typically I'm out first thing in the morning, but again, because I was trying to take advantage of negative low tide, I went in the evening. So we're gonna, we're gonna watch the sunset. There's that um, angel wing area you see in the foreground there, kind of that mucky clay sand. So we're kind of passing that at this point. It's so peaceful and so nice. And I just found so many cool shells. Life is good. I have watched the sunset here, I don't know, a dozen times, 20 times, not that many. And I don't know about you, if you've ever heard about the green flash, it's kind of like a thing when the sun, right as it's going, dipping beneath the horizon, supposedly sometimes there is a green flash. I myself have never seen it. Have you, has any of you ever seen a sunset where you got to see the green flash? I haven't seen it, but that means I need to keep watching, right? Need to keep getting back out there and seeing if maybe one of these days I can see it. And it goes quick. It's like one minute there and next minute, there it goes. And just like that, it has dipped below the horizon. It is cool, it is beautiful. I'm so happy and grateful that I can share these kind of walks with you. And I am so very, very grateful to my Patreons. Now here are some of my special Patreons. And guys, I am producing a video specifically just for my Patreons. So if you want a little more content, I can't promise I'm gonna do it all the time, but I am putting out a video specifically for my Patreons in the next couple of days. So this is our haul. We found a couple, oh, in the beginning I was a little scared there, but it, it picked up and it was terrific. We had some Sunray Venus clams. We got a couple of those different sand dollars. And again, I'll bring you another video about those. The angel wings, a couple of the bivalves, the shark eyes, crazy, tons of moon snails. So that was totally cool. Um, the banded tulips, a lot of which need some bleach along with some of those apple murex. They need some bleach too, and that's okay. That nothing a little bleach can't can't help. And then the lightning whelks, all of those cool uh, Florida finding conchs. Again, let me know what do you think? Did I find an albino? I'm not sure. And all the crown conchs. That was so many in one day. And my husband did find a top snail. We found the jewel box earlier in the day. So all in all, personally, I really had a lot of fun. I thought it was awesome. And thank you guys for coming along with me. I have let some of you know that my folding kayak did not work out. So I returned it and I purchased a quote unquote regular kayak. So I do have that in my possession and I will be using that really soon. I don't know where we're going next Sunday, but I'm gonna try my best to make it super fun. So have a great week and I'll see you then.